So this is a Russian navigation satellite. That I'm receiving, which is uh, Cosmos 2463. So, Russian uh, navigation satellites are like uh, GPS style satellites in low Earth orbit for the uh, Russian military. So, this one's uh, having a nice little pass over Montreal, and you can see it here on my computer. Uh, by the way, this is a program called Arbitron. And it's a great, great piece of software to track satellites. So you can see here it's having a pass, it's going away slowly. It had a pretty good pass over Montreal. And um, I'm controlling my receiver with the uh, Amrito Deluxe. So uh, let me just uh, change the frequency here. And you can see that it changes on my, on my radio. There's nothing you can decode out of the uh, Russian uh, navigation satellites. This is basically what it's called telemetry, and telemetry is just data. Uh, it's like a GPS, and a GPS, there's really nothing special you can decode out of a GPS signal. Your own GPS actually receives that signal and translates the difference in timing between at least three different satellites to give you your position on the Earth and uh, Russian low Earth navigation satellites have that kind of function except that instead of having two, three, four satellites it's actually the exact position of the satellite plus the Doppler shift and um, you know all sorts of little uh, signal variants that actually happen that gives information to the um, Russian Navy because it's mostly used by the Navy from uh, what I know. They're easy to uh, listen to actually so you can really hear them uh, even on a little scanner with uh, rubber duck antenna when there's a pass overhead uh, your city. Uh, well, it's really, really easy to actually uh, spot them and hear them on your radios even if you only have a little rubber duck antenna on your scanner, portable scanner. So this was the Cosmos 2361, uh, 2463, sorry, I'm, uh, little, because there's another Cosmos here. So it's this is the Cosmos uh, 2463 navigation satellite. So I hope you enjoyed these videos, 73s.